I mean, arranging and composing are kind of the same thing for me. But like I said before, the the it is a little easier to arrange other people's work, especially a piece that you don't know. <clears throat> some of these pieces I didn't know. Um, and let's say and or maybe even some pieces that I didn't like um, versus if you write a piece it's pretty hard to not get attached to your own music and then what what makes it hard to work with is that attachment so I mean mm -hmm. that's something that I that I I work on a lot I mean I remember even on one of these residencies I kind of wrote that like on the wall like don't get attached you know because then then you can't play with the material and mm. uh you know some a lot of times like a uh, um you know composition lessons are really bizarre and um and so sometimes a student will come in with a piece that they've written and they'll be like yeah can you help me with this piece like it's not it's just not it's not good I'm like, sure. Okay, so maybe what you can do is take the B section. No, not the B section. I like the, uh, the B section. I, I love that part. Okay, whatever. Well, then maybe you can take this other thing. No, no, that's my second favorite part. So we we realize that although they don't like the piece and they know it doesn't work, they're attached to it, and they're therefore they cannot change it. Mm. Uh, so I'm very aware of that as a teacher and as a composer, that that can be um, very, that can really make things hard. If you're, if your material is starting to solidify as you're writing it, then, you know, it's like clay in a way. And then, then it's like, you can't play with it anymore. Hmm. So I'm very aware of um, how things can solidify and how you can get attached. So repetition is one way if you find something you like and you just play it over and over again, you know, it starts getting like, oh, well, you, you, that's it, that now that has to be in the piece, like just like that. I can't change it. Hmm. So, I mean, I try not to do that. And also labeling things. So if you come up with something and you just say, oh, there's the baseline. So right away. And OK, now it's just the baseline. It's going to be could be good baseline, but. It could have been an incredible melody or an incredible chord progression or incredible accompaniment or something else, but now it's going to be a pretty good bass line. Mm. So just labeling things right away can also uh, solidify uh, the material. So I try to keep things open, try to keep them liquid when I'm working on them. They can, this could maybe be this, this is maybe an intro. Or maybe this, and you know, like put a put a maybe, at least a maybe, in front of everything, and also to could to check it out to to say, okay, here's my melody, okay, but is my melody possibly a, a bass line? Is my melody possibly a chord chord progression? You know, so at least at least check it out, yeah. and a lot of times you can find you know more than one. Uh, use or or role for material. So something can be a melody and it can be a chord progression. Maybe it can even be a bass line. You know, sure. or maybe it's yeah. maybe it's your form and maybe it's a counter line. And you know, it could so the, the whole idea of cellular composition is like you just have one thing and you just take that one thing and you make that one thing into everything that you need for the piece. 